Evening, it's Monday, 18th of May, 2020. I've got a date right, and day, and time is 10 to seven in the evening. I mean, I'm down in Barbara, the Barbara, outside, uh, there's a memorial here to Barbara Colliery. And on the top there in row 10, it says, Barbara Colliery, sunk in 1913, closed in 1989. Tell you a little bit about it then, what bit I know. It will link to Manvers Colliery Underground, which was two mile that way. Uh, Bought at Manvers Complex, a pot, uh, along with Wath Main, Kilness, and Manvers itself. Used to, Barbara used to uh, produce half a million tonne a year with about 1,100, 1,200 men in its heyday. And uh, a bit of history to it, it's had a couple of accidents in its time. Uh, obviously, it works same coal seams as. As Manvers, which were Port Gate, Seam, New Will Seam, Milton Field Seam, Silkston Seam, and here's a memorial plaque. Look, to it. and on that it just says, Barnbury Colliery. It was sunk between 1912 and 1950 for Stuart and Lloyd, the Manvers Main Colliery's Limited. First call from the 692 metre deep Port Gate Seam was brought to the surface on April 23rd, 1914. That's over 100 years ago. There were two major tra tragedies at the colliery. On April 24th, 1942, a seam floor upheaval killed four men in what became known as the Port Gate Bump Incident. What a way to go. And on June 26, 1957, six men were killed in a gas explosion in the Newell Seam. So, respect to them lads who lost their life. And in 1978, Barnbury Colliery became the first in South Yorkshire area to produce its total output coal by retreat mining methods. The colliery ceased production on June 16th, 1989. So there you have it. I'll just go across and so you can get full. It's a good full size wheel, that. Not a mini wheeler out like that. It's the real deal, wheel. 